So them. Hi, Diana. Nice to see you again. Hi, Michelle. Nice to see you too. How are you doing? I'm good. Yeah, although we've had rain, rain all week apart from today. We had rain yesterday. We had hail, actually, the yesterday morning and the day before. Oh, wow. But it looks like the sun is out today. How about, was it out for you earlier, the sun? Um, it's been better, been better today, yes. Gotcha. And I have a little bird feeder that fits to the window here. Oh, right? oh. So as I'm kind of facing my computer straight on, it's the window is behind. And it's just a small one. It's only so big. And it's supposed to be for the small birds. And then it was the squirrel. Mr. Blackbird. <laughs> oh, he shoved himself in here. I don't know how he fits in it, Diana. <laughs> he's massive. <laughs> but he's so determined and he gets in there and he, he helps himself to the food. And, and then he'll like grab bits and throw them out. So as they end up on the ground. Oh, yeah. But because his partner, the, the female, which is more brown, mm -hmm. um, struggling. So he was he was like throwing it out for her to get. It was so amusing. You can just imagine him a little help here. <laughs> so that that was the highlight of my week, really. It was that funny. I do well, I yes, and I'm doing uh, the plain air April. So even though with the rain I made it out. Uh, five days in a row so far to do plain air sketching outside. So we'll wow. see how the rest of the month goes. It but yeah, two days had to be in the car because it was raining. Oh, oh, oh. Well, that's a good idea, actually. Yeah, just yeah. In the car. Yeah, it's not as comfortable as I thought it would be like, oh, this is cool. I was like, oh, oh. it's not really, but it worked. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So uh, what are you using today? What equipment um, it, do our reference picture? It's quite a um, reality of what, I don't know what to use. So I have some Derwent, um, the Paint Pan Studio set. I've got Ink Tents. I've got some Neo Color 2s. And then I've got uh, some Graffy Tint. And then uh, my water brushes. And then a, a Faber-Castell ink pen. And then just a Derwent regular pen. And we will see. I don't know. Yeah, I'll probably end up using just one thing as usual, but that's okay. It's so How about you? What are you going to use? Uh, I got this, um, which is oh, the Magello Gold um, uh -huh. set that I I have um, put on my YouTube channel before. I have seen it. So also in this little dish, I have some Dusk Yellow, which is by Van Gogh. Oh, and it, it's really uh, granulating and it's actually more, it, although it's called dusk yellow, it's a dark green. <laughs> so I'm to read to its name. It's actually a really dark green. So I pulled that out because I want to use it up. And then what have I got here? I have got my carbon platinum pen. I have got a couple of ink tents. Pencils. I've got I've got a mixture. I've got a polychromos. What is this? This is a Caran d'Ache Pablo. Some luminance, Caran d'Ache luminance, and I've got a white Signo. What is this? Unibo Uniball Signo um, pen. So um, I've got those at the ready. I don't know what I will use either. We will see. We will see. We'll take inventory at the end. Mm -hmm. Do you like the Van Gogh paints? I've never tried them. I I bought them a long while ago, uh, near the beginning, because mm -hmm. I think Van Gogh are probably more um, student grade. Right. Gotcha. But I really, I really like this dusk yellow. Okay. Um, so that's the that. That's the one that I would recommend from that range. Oh, okay. <laughs> recommend. I hear you. I hear you. I hear you. Okay. So it looks like this is the reference picture you pick that we're going to do first. 
Yes. Um, you took this one, didn't you? Uh, this is my own photograph. Yes. yes. This is from Tyrrell's Woods, which are about 10 minutes away from me. Um, it's right sort of on the edge um, of the woods. And you can see there's a little bit of water there. Um, so, yeah, that's just one of mine. And no surprise, it's trees. <laughs> <laughs> I would expect nothing less for our first one. Well, I, I just thought for our first one, you know, we we want to be kind to ourselves, don't we really? Yes, we do. Well, always, right? We should always do that. So, okay. And how many minutes uh, are we thinking? Are we thinking 10 minutes? We're going to do 10 minutes. I'm, okay. I've got a timer here. Okay. So um, I will um, let you know periodically how many minutes we've got left. And yeah. Shall we get? Shall, are we ready? Shall we get? I I don't know if we're ready, but we'll 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 give it a shot here. Give it a shot. Okay. All right. Let then. me know when you start it. Okay. Counting down. Three, two, one, go. Okay. Gotcha. All right. Where to start? That's it. And this will be the first time that I can see. Like where you're starting. Usually when we do our Zoom sessions together, we don't share until the end. No, we just see our faces. Don't yeah. We? we see our faces making faces. So quite different, really. Different for us too, yeah. Mm -hmm. I just want to try and get some of these um, trees coming off the bank first. That's what I'm trying oh, to do. I see. Where are you starting? I think with this, uh, the dirt or the little, the bank. It's a bank, isn't it? It's not. I just kind of want to put that in. I know where that is going to be. And. Then some trees. Would um, are you using something that's water soluble? No, that's aluminum. No, I'm using aluminum at the moment. What color is this? I don't know. Uh, sepia, fifty percent. If anyone really wants to know. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, I'm just. I'm just going to get those in first. And then I will get some watercolor out. Okay. That's my starting point. Lovely start. Well, I need to colour what for the dirt. Did you call it dirt? Diane? I did. Yeah. I should. And then I corrected myself to the bank. It's the bank of the river. <laughs> what do you call it? Yeah, uh, yeah, I think I'd call it the bank. The bank, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I'd do some green, but maybe not. And this is where I always start making mistakes. Like I, I'll start putting in color and then not bother to even look for where shadows are until, until the end. Like, 
Oh, mm. I should have put that in. Do you look for shadows or highlights when you start? Um, other than maybe trying to leave some white space, I suppose. Well, that is. I mean, that's possibly. Yeah. Uh, um, yeah, I I tend to do that at the end as well, if I'm honest. So. When you think about it, when you're sort of outside sketching quite often, you really haven't got a lot of time, have you? Uh, no. I mean, I guess it just depends how long you decide you're going to sit out there. I mean, it's been rainy and cold. And I've like yesterday went out there, it was very windy. And I was like, okay. And then I looked at, at the time and it had been 18 minutes. And I'm like, I'm calling it. I'm done. by Like. I didn't want to, but sometimes I'll sit out there for 45 minutes. So I think it just depends how you're feeling or your time crunch limit. Yeah, I think you're right. I mean, I it depends really whether I'm out with my husband and my daughter because they're just not going to sit there for any great length of time. So um, then I know, actually, I've got to Really quick. <laughs> and then the weather, if it's really cold, gosh, you just can't because your hands get so cold. Right, we're down to just over four minutes. Just so oh, I no. Oh no. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> I just get caught up in doing the actual, you know, like, oh, okay, I don't pay attention that I need to rush. All right. Are you using a regular paintbrush? Like I'm using a water brush. I can oh, yeah, you're using a regular paintbrush. Actually, I'm not. Can you see no. what I'm using? A makeup? No. What is it? It's um, it's a foliage brush. Terry Harrison's. Oh, oh, oh. oh yes, because of really, the the area. Really, um, quite um, what do you call it? Stiff. The the bristles are really quite stiff. Oh, can, you, um, can you see these stippy bits that? I'm yes. Yeah. yeah. And that needs to be quite dark down there, doesn't it? Let's just get that bit to hold cut. This is not rain. Some blue in there. I need to get actually almost brushes. Oh gosh, it's two minutes. Two minutes. Oh my goodness. You know? <laughs> <laughs> I thought 10 minutes will be fine. Uh, no, it's not. Don't worry. Okay. So now that green in there. Okay. Oh, I like your green. Is that the Van Gogh green? Yes. But it is not done, you know. One minute forty five. Oh, okay. Right, shadows. We need some shadows. No time.
Danke, dann. Let's do splats. Why not? Oh, that was a good idea. Mm. And I'm not happy with my trees. Oh, I like the trees. I had another color in. It looks better. Well, as they're just a bit boring. You know. I guess 10 minutes is not enough time to be. Okay, countdown is 10, 9, Aww. 7, <laughs> 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and that's it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Yours looks like something. Mine looks like I don't know what. Oh, well. It is. There you go. And it's still really, really wet. So well, perhaps leave these two dry. We'll do the other picture. Make sure everything's dry and then bring them up at the end um, a bit closer for everyone to see. Should we do it that way? Yes. Okay. Let me push this to the side to dry and grab another sketchbook before I change. I need to, we need to change our picture, don't we? Yes. Let me go. Uh, reference picture. Oh, we need you a bit bigger, don't we? You're a bit smaller. In there. I know I need to do that too real quick. Yeah, let's just try and move that a bit better. Okay, that's not too bad, I don't think. Yeah, I'll leave it mine like that too. Okay, that's fine. Is that all right? Yeah, yeah, I can see yours. That's fine. Good. Okay, let me have the pages. I think I'm just going to turn mine round and then I can use it this way while that dries. Oh, you know what? Wait, that's a cardinal, cardinal mistake I made again. You used half the page and I used the whole spread. And that's, I told myself beforehand, don't do that. And it's the first thing I did. You know, it's harder to fill more space in a short amount of time. Mm. I did. It's again. okay. It doesn't, it's all good. All good. <laughs> So let me move, let me just move that over away from there a minute then. Right. Okay. This was okay. your picture, wasn't it? Yes. Um, and it is, I do see these on the beach all the time, but it's not my own picture. I did get it from uh, Pixabay uh, because they are so fast on the beach and that I can't catch them very well. So um, we're, Probably going to need to leave a link then in the description to the Pixabay okay. one for copyright reasons. Yeah, we will do that. We will. We can do that. Yeah. Um, right. So let me let me get my timer up and ready again. Then. All right. Do we want the countdown again? Does, uh, it, help? Does it make you stress? <laughs> oh no, it doesn't. It's fine. You you can do the countdown if you like. All right. Ready in three, two. One go. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, what are these called? Of they? I see. If I'm right, this should be the western snowy plover, and they're okay. shorebird. They're they're what do I say? Ground nesting birds, and they're usually in very large. Uh, I don't know what you would call them packs, and they run into. Uh, the ocean when the water's receding and then pick their grub and then they all run back when the water comes back it's just hilarious to watch these little feet run and they are so fast wow so i just like watching them uh, animals not my thing so we'll see how this goes <laughs> 
Yeah, I know when we for, did our, our episode last week, I kept saying, oh, yeah, I love to do birds. And then yesterday I tried to do a few birds. I was like, why did you say that? You're not very good at the birds. <laughs> but I like them. They are cute. He's got like a little hat on, hasn't he? A little helmet. A little hat, little helmet. And I know he's just looking out for his buddies or for his next, where he's he's planning his his uh, oh. eating or something. But it also looks like he's giving us the side eye a little bit. It's not oh, so small on the face. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, goodness. Never mind. You. Fine. Perhaps we'll perhaps I'll try and fit a second one in. <laughs> <laughs> oh goodness me. Yeah, he need this one. I'm I'm giving it a buddy because you know. Well, they. I mean, yeah. Truthfully, you don't really see them too much on their own. They're usually with their friends. Friday. Oh, look at him. Even have seen him. It's to make up for the um for the birds. <laughs> <laughs> it's all good. It is. I'm trying out a new piece of plain air kit today, Michelle. Yeah, new. Oh, we like I new. know. We have to do a video. I got that Stablo. I don't even know what to call it. You know, like our Just Go Sketching. It's kind of the same idea, only it's a very thin board. I'll have hey, to show it to you. Yeah. How much time do we have, Michelle? Five, just over five minutes. Oh, we're sitting pretty. I think mine looks identical to the reference picture, don't you? <laughs> wow. I crack myself up. Okay. I'll just add, add, um, add here. Let's ground it a bit with something. Oh, good idea. Let's see. Should have picked a palette with buff titanium in, but never mind. This <laughs> isn't what I can have.
So I started using watercolors, like I said, like in 2020, 2020, 2020 I don't know, anyways, around there. And mm-hmm. I did not buy buff titanium until I started painting with you guys on Zoom. I was like, buff titanium, what are they talking about? And now I have it. I was like, how did I live without this? The whole well, time. so that's the style, isn't it? In the world did I not know about this. It just helps so much. I, you know, if you want, uh, well, like uh, the the ground on the picture that we did before, I probably would have used buff titanium there as well. Um, you know, sand, because you, you can just add a little bit of something else to it. And right. it gives you those really good neutrals, doesn't it? Yes. Now, if you have buff titanium in your palette, do you also put in like a, a Chinese white or something in there as well? No. I know it's supposed to be the white of the paper, but I know sometimes people I w- would use it for, you know, to desaturate colors as well. Kind of how the how I use the buff titanium. Mm. No, I no I'm very much. Uh, what am I looking for? I'm needing something and I can't find it. Where are you? There you are. Um, what are we down to? Just over two and a half minutes. Okay. Um, oh, I forget what I was going to say now. Uh, I was saying buff titanium, then I saw oh. white. Oh, white, no. I tend to just use... Uh, the Dr. P.H. Martin's um, Bleed Proof White. Oh, yeah, that's the other thing I still need to order. It's it's really completely opaque, um, which is nice. So would you say you use it the same way you would use maybe your, um, your white pen, like your Uniball or a white Posca? Um, no. Yeah, yes, I would use it like that. Um, but I also use it to mix colors with. Um, oh, and so the bottom of these little birds are white. Um, if I didn't have, I mean, I have got in my palette a white gouache, it's a Windsor and Newton professional white gouache. Mm-hmm. But uh, if I didn't have that in my palette, then I would have reached for. The bleed proof white. Okay. Um, yeah. One minute ten. No problem. She says. Ask do we need. I think it's good to kind of point out as well that. You know, the things we do in our sketchbooks, yes, it would be lovely if they all turned out, but the reality is they don't. Um, Right. I think it's important that, you know, you can use them to then give you an idea on a bigger painting that you want to do. If you wanted to do, you know, I mean, I'm in A5. Maybe I wanted to make a much bigger A4 painting. Okay. Use it, you know, and and I would then, okay, I, we've used the reference picture, but then I would use my sketch in my sketchbook as my reference picture to do my A4, and I think it then makes it more your own, right? Oh, definitely. No, time is up. Okay, okay, Take that <laughs> pens <laughs> down. Come <laughs> on. Oh my gosh. That's okay. But I think uh, maybe, yes, next time we might do 12 or 15 or maybe we'll try three. We could probably do 15, couldn't we? I'm just going to lose the reference picture. Yeah. No. So so there's a... Oh yeah, let me do that. It's on the... Good idea. Okay. Well, that just leaves me like that. That's okay. Right. All right, so there we I've go. Got my birdie there, so I'll bring my birdie. Okay. Well, 
Mm -hmm. I'm not I'm not mad at my bird, actually. And I like yours. Yeah. I I think yours is a much better shape than mine. (laughs) (laughs) So um there's always pros and cons, aren't there? Yeah. Uh, I think actually in ten minutes, neither of us have done too badly. No, I don't think so at all. I like the feathers on yours. Oh, thank you. Feathers. Okay, so yes, this is lesson learned. Next time we are going to do half a page or one instead of the whole thing. Yeah, yours turned out very lovely. You what can... did you What did you use for yours there, Diana? <laughs> I used um, graphy tint to sketch uh, the branches, uh, right. pencils, and then I used um, the ink tints. What are these called? The the paints. Oh, yes, the intent. Yes, yes, for the greens. Yeah. And I just was grabbing the wrong greens and I didn't mix them fast enough to get a different color, but that's okay. No, but, uh, you know, you've got the, we've both got the exact yeah. same kind of slope <laughs> going on there, haven't we? It's like, I got the slope, but that's yeah. it. So, but I think you can probably, can you see that the effect that that brush gives? Yeah, it's very, now I see little speckles on the branches, the trunk, tr- tree trunk. Is that when you did the splatters? No, on the tree trunks, um, I used whatever brown it is. What brown is this in this Magello? Van Dyke brown. Um, but then I added some ultramarine to it. Um, I quite often add ultramarine or a blue into the brown on my trees. Mm, okay, gotcha. Um, I just it it just gives a it does it does give a nice yeah. hue effect. Yeah. I'm gonna try that today when I go out. Yeah, definitely. So um, yeah, I mean trees aren't. I mean you could I, I could have picked a green, I suppose, but there was already so much green in there. And I picked the blue because it would go with the blue in the water. Right, right. Interesting. That's why I did that. But I will nearly always, I won't have just one colour for my trees. Yes, true. Yeah. You know, with watercolour. I will always um, just dip in, dip in, is that the right word? Touch in, touch in a little bit of um, another colour. Yeah. And I think, yeah, I like to do that too, I think, but I don't, I don't think of it that quickly, you know, that fast. So I think that's just another part of practice. But I was going to say earlier when you said something about like our sketchbooks and then not a masterpiece, you know, we're not going to, they're not great. They're just there for practice. But um, right now I do still feel like I want to get better at, uh, I guess, better paintings or better illustrations in my sketchbooks. To then go and transfer them. So right now they're very, uh, I don't know, my sketchbooks are really valuable to me. Like they're little friends. Like I really, yeah. So, but I haven't gone up a level so that I can really transfer them into some nice paintings like yours. You've done that quite a few times very beautifully, especially your trees. So, yeah. I think I'll try. (laughs) Okay. So. um, Okay. So it's our, our debut challenge. Yes. One of our series. And um yeah. What 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 shall we tease will be next? Um, next we'll probably change the time on how many minutes we're doing and um maybe we'll throw in a materials challenge. We'll see. We'll have to think about that. But we'll definitely, what are you thinking? Yes, absolutely. We could say you can only use one particular material, whether it's watercolor or neo colors or graphite in pencils or whatever it is. Yes. 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 Um, So we could definitely do that. Um, We could maybe do that with one of the pictures. And then with the other picture, we could maybe just use three colors. Or two. Oh, true. Yeah, we could do that too. 
that's not too bad. Yes. Well, one or two other, we'll, we'll have a think. And yes. Actually, you're going to have to wait and see which we choose. <laughs> that's right. See what we come up with. Well, well this was fun. Thanks so much, Michelle. I love yeah, it. Thank you, Diana. Lovely. All right. So until next time then. Until uh, next time. Yeah. Take care. Yeah. Bye.